Hello everyone and welcome to another video. When a guest lets go of a balloon, it gently floats upwards and while it's doing so, you can click on it to pop it. But sometimes it doesn't work and it moves a bit to the side instead. Why? Why does this happen? Before we get to that, let's first take a look at what actually causes a guest to let go of a balloon in the first place. There are three ways this can happen. The first is you beating the scenario. This causes all the guests to start clapping and by doing so they will let go of their balloon. However, a floating balloon will only appear if the guest is currently visibly holding one. This guest has a balloon but is currently eating something and has temporarily stuffed the balloon... Uh, somewhere? Anyway, wherever that balloon is, when the scenario is beaten, the balloon does disappear from his infantry, but it does not float upwards. The same happens if a guest is drowning. They let go of their only flotation device because they've seen enough of this world and would rather not continue on. And lastly, sometimes they just let go of it randomly. By default, there is a 1 in 200 chance this happens every 12.8 seconds. Again, only if they are visibly holding it. It can also happen if they change from holding a balloon to doing something else, such as holding food or checking the map. Even if this 1 in 200 chance does hit, you're not guaranteed to see a balloon because there's a 1 in 5 chance that the balloon immediately pops instead of floating up. There is one more way that the balloon can refuse to appear and that is the limit for miscellaneous entities. Things like ducks, money effects, explosions and indeed balloons count as miscellaneous and this limit is just 300 in the vanilla game and 1600 in Open RCT2. This is most noticeable if you beat the park with a lot of balloon holding guests as it's very clear that way fewer balloons are rising up than there should be. Once we have an airborne balloon there are three ways for it to pop. The first is for it to collide with something. If there is a scenery item, track piece or path piece in the way then the balloon will hit it and it will pop. Anything goes here, even tiny quarter tile scenery objects that wouldn't even technically be in the way if the balloon is on the other side of the tile. Supports are ignored though as they aren't physical things that exist in the game, they're only drawn for our pleasure. The second way for balloons to pop is to reach the height limit of the game, to which all balloons will ascend if not impeded beforehand, only to pop anyway. And lastly we get to the question at the start of the video. You can pop balloons by clicking on them, which is rather satisfying and a fun easter egg, but why on earth do some balloons refuse to pop? Well, why exactly, I don't know. Maybe Chris Sawyer found it funny, maybe it happened by accident and he decided to keep it in? Whatever the origin of this is, I can tell you that it was deliberately made a feature in the end, as when it happens a special bit of code is triggered that moves the balloon a little to the left or to the right. It's not just that with any click you have a certain chance to fail to pop it. No, instead there are so-called unpoppable balloons. Well, I say they're so cold, but it's a term I just made up, but now they're called that. One in eight balloons should be unpoppable, but depending on the situation, it can sometimes be a bit fewer or a bit more. It's a bit confusing how that works, so I'm not going to get into it. If a balloon is such an unpoppable one, then it will keep moving to the side until it suddenly does want to die. This is because there's a one in eight chance that your click is a critical hit and destroys it anyway. Sometimes this happens immediately and you won't even realize that you just killed a boss enemy in one hit, while other times it might take a lot of clicks to finally get through. And that's it for this video, I hope you have many hours of fun destroying these evil sacks of helium and if you wish to learn how to exploit guests letting go of balloons, click this video right here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.